take out the power adapter to connect the power supply, turn the emergency stop button, press the power start switch, click the text and default characters appear in the operation interface. Click the edit button in the upper right corner to enter the text editing. Click the blank area in the middle, delete with one key, and enter the editing content you need. According to your needs, you can choose to switch between Chinese and English, common symbols, line breaks, content editing, and other functions after completing the input. Click OK to close the interface. At this point, the font content on the home screen is displayed as a dotted line. If you want to deepen the font, just click the Enable button to fill the font. If you want to make the marking text deeper, then the option box will appear Enable Outline, Edge Walk Once, Cross Fill and other options. The number of marks will be increased after the selection, and the effect can be more obvious, but the time will be extended correspondingly. This function can be selected according to their own needs. Changing the line spacing to 0.05 will further enhance the marking effect and extend the corresponding time. After the operation is finished, click the close button to return to the main interface. There are width, height, and options on the right. Click to change F100 field mirror maximum format 60, 60 F160 field mirror maximum format 100, 100 the size of the process text should not exceed the field size click OK when the input is complete. Click the 8 boxes to the left of the properties to save 8 different material properties if metal can be set to laser power 80 marking speed 1000 click to use the default parameter value. Next time when marking the same type of material, you can directly select the corresponding parameters. Click close now let's test the achievement. Remove and wear protective glasses. Remove the lens protective cover, pick up the handle and place it on the process item and click the out light button. A red light preview box will appear on the marked item, indicating that the case contents appear only in the red box indication. Click the light button again and the marking machine starts marking. Remember to cover the lens protective cover after marking to avoid the lens from getting dusty. Click the QR code icon on the left. Click the edit button on the right, edit the QR code content you need in the text input box, and click the OK button after editing. At this time, you can select the barcode mode on the interface according to your needs. The barcode type can be selected to dimensional code style, display mode, click close, select fill, click enable button, and click close, modify the property, and select the size. First copy the edited image material to the USB flash drive. Insert the USB flash drive to the left USB flash drive port. Click the bitmap button on the left and choose bitmap GG, PNG, Beam or vector map DXAFE, PLT, A speech format according to the image format. Click the bitmap and then click the USB flash drive and click open to find the edited picture in the option box. Click open and then the picture will appear in the main interface of our operation. Double click the picture or click the upper left corner to edit to enter the image setting interface. Open the fixed DPI and modify X and Y to 500. The contrast and brightness can be adjusted according to the image pixels. Forward and reverse are two different output modes. Click close modify the laser power and speed according to the material. Click close to modify the size. Click file, then save as, change the name at the top and click OK. Click save again.
Next, let's look for the image we just saved. Click the image to open the file, then a pop-up box appears. Click No, find the image we just saved. Click Open. The image appears on our interface. Click System Settings and click Other in the lower left corner. At this time, an option appears on the Operation Interface, Standby Time, enter 10 seconds in the click box. This time can be set by yourself. Click OK, then click Application, select Exit. At this time, the system, battery, galvanometer system and laser will stop working and enter hibernation state after 10 seconds without operation of the equipment. This can greatly extend the service life of the equipment, reduce the battery, system, galvanometer system loss, more energy saving and longer battery life. Long press the screen to hide the left and right sides. Display the left side, display the right side The interface is more concise when working Hide all other options, long press for a text and some options will appear When multiple files appear on the operation interface and you want to delete them all Drag and press the screen to select all files and click delete If you want to restore files, click the undo button At the top of the screen Click to zoom in and zoom out. After operating a text, click to restore to appear the original screen. Right hand side right, down, up, left, center, left rotation, right rotation. When we mark an item, we can adjust the position to move the marked area. After editing multiple texts and opening continuous processing, we can process a single text or multiple texts, which can greatly improve our work efficiency, instead of adding other texts after deleting a single file. Continuous marking can be carried out for process items. If you need to close, click stop and then click power off. Click System Settings and Language to switch the required language version. Click Language to restart the system. After the restart, the system switches to the selected language. Daily Maintenance and Precautions 1. Please wear protective glasses during daily work. 2. Do not direct the laser at people. 3. Handle with care. 4. Do not press the screen, usually can use the capacitor pen to operate. 5. Original adapters must be used. 6. Regularly blow the lens dust with the ear ball, and then wipe the lens with the lens wiping paper so as to reduce the loss of the lens.